If we don't get these mammoths under control. I heard the Jade Dragoons were nearly destroyed by... Comrades, Frost. a word. We should have been more prepared. The undead, if we save us!
Please, I need your help. I'm the Sylvanar, the spiritual advisor to... Why, it's you. Wonderful. Wood Orcs from Juthsugar have captured me, and I don't know why. I'm loath to impose upon your aid yet again, but I have nowhere else to turn. Yes, I remember you. A familiar face is a welcome one in dire times. You see, I'm trapped in Juthsugar, and need assistance to free myself and those captured with me. Thank you. The gods know I could use your help. It's taking all my energy to maintain this projection. The Droplog captured me and my traveling companions. They're holding us prisoner in Juthsugur. I need you to rescue my advisors. They can tell you more about the attack and perhaps help you free me from my prison. I am being weakened by some powerful magic. They won't be much use to you as fighters, but they're very clever. My advisors are my confidants, my bodyguards. They fill multiple roles. We were en route to my wedding with the Green Lady. When the Drublog attacked, they were slain or taken. Two survived, Ryan and Sariel. The Drublog used a foul spell to trap me. I've never encountered it before. The same energy prevents anything beyond this Sigic contact. I can't escape without your help. As the Sylvanar, I'm the manifestation of the spiritual strength within every Bosma. But I must join with the Green Lady before my role can be fulfilled. The Drublog attacked my retinue on our way to this ritual. We had no time to ask them why. A warrior. He's my military advisor and a bodyguard. He fought hard during the ambush, but was overwhelmed. If you free him, he can advise you how to battle the Drublog. But I fear he was severely wounded and may not be able to fight. The youngest of my advisors. Ambassador Sariel's visions give guidance when those twice her age see no clear path. She could help you find out how to free me. Please, help us. The Sylvanar's been captured. They want his life energy. If they take it, the Barsma are doomed. He did? You've seen the Sylvanar? Praise Ifrei. They attacked us on the road. Rayan fought the Drablog ambushers, but they knocked him out cold. I was no help, but I saw everything. The Drablog shaman chanted words from a ritual book, and energy flowed from the Sylvanar into these giant crystals. The shaman kept chanting as they carried the Sylvanar away, but we were separated from him. Please, we have to get that book and stop the ritual. My ears still ring from the clout they gave me. Blasted Drablog took my weapons and Sariel's staff. Where's the Sylvanar? Is he safe? Thank Ifri, he's alive then. We could have beat the Drablog ambushers, but they brought in a creature. Huge. Ugly. Nothing we did hurt it. I couldn't say. I fought back, but the Drablog warriors hit me over the head. Everything went blurry, and I woke up here with Sariel. Perhaps she saw more. I hope the Green Lady is all right.
When we find the Sylvanar, will you be able to get us all out of here? Now that we have the book, perhaps we have a chance. That's it! The Ritual of Unbinding! Be careful. The Drawblog used it when they attacked us. The Sylvanar weakened when the Shaman read from it. We keep it out of their hands. And now we've got to find the Runestone too. The Shaman used it and the book together. There are two Daedric Shrines within Jothsugur. We found the book at this one, so I bet the Runestone is at the other. The second shrine is on the other side of their fortress. They wouldn't want to make it easy for anyone to recover both items. Once we get what we need, it'll be up to you. To hide that lodge there. Let's get inside. We need to take the book and the stone somewhere safe so you can examine them. We can't stay out in the open, and the longhouse we were being held in is probably teeming with Drablog. There was another longhouse south of that one. Maybe we could try going there. If it comes down to it, you may need to abandon me. I have a strange foreboding. Not all of us will leave Jossiger alive. According to Sariel, that book says the price of saving the Sylvanar is one of our lives. Good. We should pay for our failure. It's a hard choice, but a simple one. It's my duty to die protecting the Sylvanar. I failed once, so badly I can't fight anymore. The Sylvanar... I was so helpful till now. No, I've seen you fight. If anyone can get the Sylvanar out of here, it's you. And Sariel. She's young, but wise. 
The Sylvanar needs such advisors, not near dead warriors. Sacrifice me. I understand what needs to be done. Read the book. One of us must die to save the Sylvanar. Frankly, that's a lower price than I expected. Daedric rituals often come at such a cost. Obviously, I should be sacrificed. I'm the weakest of us. When the Droblog attacked, Rayan fought back while I was captured straight off. I'm an advisor, not a warrior. The Sylvanar needs warriors. If you think I'm a good advisor, listen. Freeing the Sylvanar won't be enough. His power's drained. The Droblog guarding him won't just let him walk out. Rayan can help you. Use the runestone on me. I didn't think it would be like this! The pain! Ah! By the pack, that was horrible. I could feel his spirit energy draining away. I can't believe you chose to sacrifice Rayan, but I won't waste his gift. I'll do whatever I can to rescue the Sylvanar and help you. Earlier, when we were running through the compound, I noticed four rays of light coming from the towers surrounding the main building. I think those are coming from the Binding Stones. We need to disrupt them to stop the ritual. The Rune Stone. When Rayen was sacrificed, it changed into a Rune Key. If you invoke its power against the Binding Stones, you'll sever their connection to the ritual. Sever all four and the energy drain will cease. The Sylvanor will be free, but weak. I can use my visions to get out of Josiga, so you don't have to worry about me. I've also recovered enough energy to invoke my spirit totem. It will follow you until you leave Josiga, aiding you as it can.
see my prison, the fortress on the hill. Come on. It's good to finally see you with my own eyes. Thank you for rescuing me, but our trials are not over. The Binding Stones affected my connection to the Bosma. I must get back everything they took from me. Give me time. The Drablog and the Houndsman can't have missed your disruption of the Binding Stones. They'll be here soon, driven by Chief Nargoth. Keep them back while I regain the energy they stole from me. Only then can we leave. Just the first group. More are coming. <laughs> Almost done. Protect me a little while longer. and the Drublog working together to destroy my connection to the land. I can't believe it. Thankfully, you saved me. I agree. 
I've recovered sufficient magicka to create a portal out of Jafsuga. Are you ready to go? After I teleport out, I'll leave the portal open as long as I can. We'll meet again outside, beyond the reach of the Drublock. Don't wait too long. The portal won't stay up forever, and I wouldn't be surprised if more Drublocks show up down here soon. Events are spiraling out of control. And as the spinners say, we've left the story. Without you, neither I nor my ambassador would have gotten out of Jathsaga. I will be. It seems I can only trust you and my last ambassador. I must get to the town of Sylvanar and the Green Lady quickly. As soon as my magicka returns, we'll be on our way. Yes. With all you did inside Jathsaga, I think the Drablog threat is finished. I can deal with any stragglers who come my way. But I can't wait too long. Dalinir and my other guards sent word that I should get to the city of Sylvanar. I'd like you to come to our wedding. You deserve an invitation. Look for me or Dalinir when you reach town to get it. Besides, I don't think we've heard the last of the Hound. You may encounter his minions along the way, or even in Sylvanar. Now that I'm aware of the danger, I can protect myself and those around me. I won't be caught by the same trick twice. <laughs> the town of Sylvanar. There I'll wed the Green Lady and join my spiritual essence with her physical power. It's a ritual that happens once a generation, and it will happen again soon. My stock isn't as plentiful as it once was.
No good comes from the Wood Orcs. Never forget Velen Harbor. My friend, I was certain you'd arrive, and it's a good thing you did. All is not well in Sylvanar. The city is closed against me. The ancient wards and guardians all see me as hostile. I could force my way inside, but that might hurt the people of Sylvanar. This is supposed to be a celebration, not a war. I'll need your help once again. The city is sealed against me, something I would not have thought possible. It would take the power of... Of course, the three spinners. They could do it if they were forced by someone powerful, someone like the Hound. Yes, that Hercene worshipper wants to keep me from the Handfast. My scouts saw his houndsman in the ravine below, bearing silver shards that radiate magicka. Can you wrest the shards from them? They're key to unlocking the city and this puzzle. I believe those silver shards are physical manifestations of stories woven by the Bosma's three most powerful spinners. If you take them from the houndsman in the ravine below, we'll know for certain. We've run afoul of him before. The hound was behind the trouble in Drabul and my kidnapping and imprisonment in Juthsaga. He wishes to supplant me as the Green Lady's rightful consort. We have to stop him for the sake of the Bosma people. I don't know. But she must be inside the city. If she were anywhere else, I'd be able to sense her presence. My fear is that the Hound has trapped her in some way similar to the way he kept me in Juthsaga. Perhaps the shards are part of that trap. definitely need your help. The Sylvanar told us there's some sort of mystic barrier keeping them out of the city. I can't see it, but I do see the houndsmen in the ravine below, carrying those damn silver shards. That's good. If you want the silver shards, you should go through the chasm between here and the city to collect them. Come back up this way when you have enough. I'll check with the Sylvanar to see what you need to do next. I need you. Come here, quickly.
You've got the silver shards? Good. Keep them close. I don't know what they're for, but they've got to be important. But before that, you've got to defeat the Guardian of Sylvanar. It patrols the bridge between here and the city. It's not an evil creature, but a bound spirit tied to the wards that protect the city. Defeating it won't destroy it completely. In fact, it will probably reform soon after. But it will temporarily sever its connection to the wards. It'll give the Sylvanar an opening to project his will into the city. The Sylvanar, remember, is the spiritual essence of the Bosma. If he can extend his essence inside the city, he can help unravel the wards. But you'll still need the spinners. They're somewhere inside the city. The Sylvanar can't sense them with the wards intact, but once the Guardian's defeated, he'll be able to extend his perceptions into the city, however briefly. Over here! Quickly! You've defeated the Guardian, but it will return soon. You need to get inside the city and locate the three spinners. I sense they're being held in the trees within the city. The bonds of Hercene surround them, however, so you can't go directly to them. You'll need to learn about the spinners and their prisons in order to free them. All I know are their names. Spinner Enrel, Spinner Carolyn, and Spinner Dothriel. This is my first visit to the city, and until the Handfast, my connection with the Bosma is incomplete. I know how you can learn about the three spinners, but it will be dangerous. Question the ones who bound them. The Houndsman's witches worked with their master to craft special prisons for each spinner. Force the witches to tell you everything they know about the bindings and locations of the three spinners. I can't thank you enough. Dread. Please, no more. Please, don't kill me. You don't understand. Yes, but we didn't hurt them. Please, I'll tell you everything I know if you just let me go. I... I was there when the youngest of them, Spinner Einrel, was taken. I can tell you about her. Just promise you won't kill me. Spinner Einrel is the youngest of the three. She acted like she knew she was going to be taken. They imprisoned her in her home, surrounded by all her nature totems and strange-smelling herbs. Her essence focuses on the future of the Bosma people as she sees it. Naturally, she believes in the love between the Green Lady and the Sylvanar breaking through the shadow of the Hound. The exact solution to the puzzles is a mystery even to us. in the nick of time.
No, it wasn't my fault. It was the Hound. He forced us. I saw him capture Spinner Carolyn. The Spinner's in his prime and let the Hound know he'd fight him with all his strength. But the Hound still bound the Spinner, right in his home. The Warrior Spinner focuses on the present. He sees a great battle with the Green Lady and the Hound to bring her to her true lord, the Sylvanar. His bonds are tied to that site, and the Spinner already claims victory. He laughed as we bound him. The spinner acted as if he knew what was going on everywhere in Malabal Tor. He told the hound that a hero was on his way and that the Sylvanar wouldn't be locked out of the city much longer. Could he have meant? Oh no, he meant you! Oh, thank you enough. I'm getting out of here. Have mercy, please. No, it can't end like this. He promised. The spinners defied the hound, so he bound them with elements of their own strengths. He even bound Spinner Dothriel, the strongest of the three. She'll grow even older in her prison. She's in her home and hardly noticed us. She lives in the past, seeing patterns of ancient times replaying today. With the Bosma surviving and the hound dead. She spoke as if it had already happened. She also said that each spinner has the key to his or her own release, even if they can't affect it. Please, please let me go. I'll leave the city forever. I sense that you've completed your task. You've questioned the Houndsman witches about the spinners and their bonds. When you defeated the Guardian, I projected more of my essence into the city. I've learned something about each spinner and their bonds. They're being contained by puzzles that tap into each spinner's essence. The Hound is using Aeliad Stones to imprison each spinner. The key to each puzzle is tied to each spinner's essence, but their very spirits power the barrier keeping me out of the city. Solve the puzzles, free the spinners, and open the barrier. Yes, if you fail to solve a puzzle, a manifestation of that spinner's spirit will appear. Kill it and the barriers will fall, but at the cost of a spinner's life. Try to solve the puzzles and free the spinners, not kill them. Take your time. The spinners work with the past, present, and future and likely left clues to help solve the puzzle of their bindings. Look carefully at each stone, and read every book within their chambers. I'm sure you'll find the answers. Each has a home surrounding the great tree. Go up from here, then cross the tree bridges, and climb up further still to their homes. Search the spinners' homes for clues to solving each puzzle. Return here after you've broken their bonds.
You've done it. The barrier is almost broken. As you broke each of the spinner's bonds, I could feel the energy dispersing. I'm almost through. We must confront the Hound, but I have grim news. The Hound has somehow enthralled the Green Lady's spirit. That's why the wards against my entry were so strong. She's in the audience hall, fighting to repair the damage you've done. Give me the silver shards. They contain the essence of the three spinners' stories. I can use them to overcome the Hound's spell, but only if I can physically get to the Green Lady. Go to the audience hall and distract her. She's a warrior, first and foremost, and will abandon her repairs to confront you. Then I'll be able to break through the barrier. Of course, if the Hound gets to her before I can, best not to think of that. Together, the Green Lady and the Hound will be formidable. Our only hope is for me to get to the audience hall quickly and help. If you're overcome, all Sylvanar, all the Bosma may be lost. Fight bravely and well. Take the ladder up from here. It's above us, high in the great tree. Good luck, my friend. Sort, you will not interfere. I'm here, Gwaring. No one can stop our union now. Green Lady, remember the green path. Come to me. No, we belong together. to that. Gwaring, are you hurt? The shadows lifted. For the first time in many moons, my spirit is my own. I can see my destiny again. Without your help, the Sylvanar might never have made it back. I hope I didn't injure you. I embody the physical strength of the Bosma, but it proved useless against Hercene's magic. The Hound was once my dearest friend, Orthorn. Despite everything, I thought I could make him change his destructive course. I was wrong. Orthorn allowed me to think I could reach him, but his words were wrapped in Hercene's magic as the Hound. They drew out my primal spirit, and I lusted for the hunt. I felt as the ancient Bosma must have felt before the Pact. Like there was nothing for me but blood and the kill. If you hadn't arrived, I'd be a houndsman hunting innocent Bosma, but stronger, with my power as the Green Lady encouraging others to turn feral. You must complete the handfast quickly. Retrieve the handfast. It was crafted in Bailgard and sent here for the wedding ceremony. Fortunately, the spin has hid it away somewhere in the city to keep it from the Hound and me. Scout Anglith, chief of the Sylvanar's hunters, should know. Considering how much you've helped us already, I can't think of anyone else who deserves the honor more than you. Wait! You can't start without this! Take your rightful place in our celebration.
By the blood we consume, by the hills and bales we protect, let the spirit of the Sylvanar and the body of the Green Lady come as one. Before Ifray and those gathered, or this generation, and those who came before and go after, be joined. I've said enough. Go and be merry. The Handfest ritual is but one of the many ceremonies for this wedding. Look around, my friend. Without you, this joyous celebration could not be possible. Please, enjoy the hospitality of Sylvanar for as long as you like. Though I am certain your tale will draw you away from us soon. May your story be never-ending and always of interest. Quickly, before it's too late. The pain is bad enough. The surprise and betrayal, worse. The main. We were escorting him to the Handfast when something happened. He stumbled as we crossed the bridge. We stopped to help him and he... He just went mad. He attacked us with tooth and claw. And something else. Magic. Dark magic. The guards were dead before we could drive him. It off. It fled north. I think it's heading toward the march. You must find him. Stand back. I can cast a small spell. Find where he's headed. Search for him in Reaper's March near Fort Grimwatch. I sense his presence there. <clears throat> that hurt. Probably should not have done that. But you have to find him. Fort Grimwatch is in the northern woods, high up the Reaper's March. This one thinks that is where he's gone. Of course, I have been a Kuzri's speaker for years. Our relationship is far older than this dominion we struggle to keep together. Ask me what you will. His true name is Akuzri. We've been friends since we were children. He was brought up by the lunar clergy. As all mains are, I was the son of elsewhere nobility. We both knew we'd make our mark on the world. I never thought it would be like this. I don't. Can't know for sure. He never even showed an interest in magic. He's always been a good leader, quieter than usual these last years. But I just thought he was adjusting to our new alliance. Dark moons. Dark moons. <laughs> Lord Garashkri is wounded, but alive!
Only the brave travel these roads now. The best horses aren't just strong. They're The Jukdol should never have attacked even. They got what they deserved. The guild requests your help. <laughs> 